It is August 6th, 2022. I'm in Savannah, Georgia. I'm at the road that leads down to Bell's Landing, which you can look up on the map. I can't remember the name of the road. And this is going to be a video about Fasalis Walteri, also known as Dune Ground Cherry. So this is the plant right here with these oval shaped leaves and I don't know if it'll show up in the video but the leaves are slightly fuzzy in texture and so is the stem I think it is showing up on the stem on the camera but that's how the leaves are too just very slightly so everything you see here with these round leaves is Fasalis walteri. They spread through roots. So this is probably just a few plants that have spread a lot. These ones keep getting cut down, which is why they're all so short in August. These ones just barely survived the last mowing because they happened to be far enough back. But these, oh, okay, yeah, right down here. There's a flower bud and a flower that I don't think I'll be able to show very well. It's a very tattery looking flower. Here's another flower bud. Um, might have to go searching around to find some open flowers. But anyways, it's got these kind of round, kind of shaped like pointed ovals. Let's see if we can find some flowers. The flowers naturally point downward, so they're not very obvious. At least not when the plants are all short like this. This is not it. This is Yapon Holly, which is another native plant, but not the one we're looking for. Well, haven't seen any flowers, but back here, here, cannot see the camera very well. Here's one of the amateur fruits, and here's what they look like when they are ripe. This one kind of feels really light, so I don't know if there's anything in here. I'm going to sit down the camera quick and... No, it's not gonna work. I'm gonna try to open this one handedly. Yeah, I'm just gonna put the camera down and then open it. Alright, so this one doesn't have the fruit in it, but it does have the seeds. There's a bunch of dried seeds in there, so I'm gonna just scatter them. Anyways, we were looking for some flowers. No, I thought I saw one, but that was just a yellow leaf. This one's got three fruits on it. They form these lanterns with a papery cover. I just touched something sticky. They form the lanterns with the papery cover and they stay like that even when the fruit is ripe and falls off the plant. Some scientists have speculated that this is so that the fruits will float and transfer the seeds down rivers, which makes sense. This one has a flower bud and then another flower bud, but I don't see any open flowers. So there might just not be any flowers today, but the flowers point downward. They're yellow with some, it's like five petals that are kind of fused together to form a circle shape. And then each petal has a little brown or dark red band across it.
we can go up here to these other plants maybe and see if any of them have flowers. I'm also going to try and turn the brightness of the camera up, or the phone, because I can barely see it. Okay, there aren't any plants here. So we'll try up here, and if not, then the video will just end. Nope, none up here either. Okay. Oh, there's a car coming this way, so I have to go in the grass. And another car, but we're gonna go down this way and see if there's any plants with flowers, because these are most of the ones that survived. Oh, wait, oh, I see a flower right now. All right, so I walked out of that way for nothing, but this one is a very small flower right here. See the pale yellow with the dark spots at the center of each petal. Most of these flowers are bigger than this one. This one, that's my index finger. It's on and that's my thumb. And usually the darker bands are more solid colored, like little stripes. Oh, here's another one. Yes, what they usually look a bit more alike. These ones are very small flowers though. I'm not sure if that's because they keep getting mowed down and they aren't the healthiest plants they could be. That's why these leaves kind of look paler at the edges and they're kind of curling a bit. They aren't supposed to do that that much. Mm, yeah. Anyways, this is the road that leads down to Bell's Landing, which is down that way. There's not really any landmarks, unless you want to use this pine tree and this gap here, but if you come here in 2022, assuming they don't mow everything down again, there is a pokeweed plant. So you can look for that if you aren't familiar with what do, the dune ground cherry leaves look like. Alright, so that's the end of the video. Have fun. Post any pictures you find of them to iNaturalist. Bye-bye.